Bobovisca and Volker Kontner have pristine forests and are great places for mushroom picking, fishing, hunting and biking enthusiasts. The earliest document mentioning Kurov dates back to the 12th century. Kurov has been a battleground for long periods of its history. The Swedish army swept through during their famous invasion. There were skirmishes during the November and January uprisings. Despite its turbulent history, there are many beauties in the town. The churches of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary and of St. Michael the Archangel from the mid-16th century as well as the bell tower from the first half of the 18th century. The Karuvka, a tributary of the Vistula, flows through Kurov. At high water levels, the entire valley becomes flooded, causing the river to change its course. Information about Zhuzhin is sketchy, but the vessels, and then their successors, were the last recorded owners of this area, from the 19th century until 1944. A victorious battle of the January Uprising was fought in Zhuzhin. A living history group from Oshina, called the Wolves, organizes popular historical battle reconstructions, with local people willingly taking part. Bike lovers can reach the Piscora Reserve, a waterfowl refuge, by following a blue trail. And if you're really lucky, you might get to see the white-tailed eagle known to nest nearby. Volvenica is one of the oldest settlements in the region. Its existence dates back to the turn of the 11th and 12th centuries. It lies between Noentrov and Kazimishdone on the old amber route in the valley of the Bistra. Volvenica has been known for centuries as a place of worship to the miraculous statue of Our Lady Kambalska. Its origins are linked to the Tatar invasion of 1278. Nowadays, Thousands of pilgrims from all over the country visit the shrine every year. Near the town, there are scenic walking routes that meander along the riverbanks and take in even more Los Ravines, which are up to 20 meters deep. Huavi is located in a valley on the central part of the Vistula. It consists of two parts, situated on either bank of the river. On the left bank is Gorapuavska, on the right is Goom. The village is known because of the Swedish invasion, its historic church, the Loreto House, and the strange bicycle museum set up by local enthusiast, Mr. Majewski. He is also the owner of the only museum of drunkenness in Poland. The village of Bonhoeff is also worth visiting. 
its inhabitants were expelled from their homes in 1934 as a stopover for military pilots. On the other side of the Vistula in Polishia is one of the largest cemeteries of German soldiers in Poland. Looking at the 21,000 names carved in stone makes you think about the horrors that have forever left their mark on the area. Poavi has a rich history. Due to its beautiful location, Stanislav Heraskluš Lubomirsky decided to build a fortified palace here. When it passed into the hands of the Tratariski family, Poavi became a centre of cultural and political life, even competing with the royal court in Warsaw. During the period famously attributed to Prince Adam Tratariski and his wife Isabella of Fleming, Poavi Palace attracted the greatest artist and scientists of the time. Later, in a more subdued Poland, the Czartoryski court became the cradle of Polish culture and the birthplace of its strive for liberty. After restoring the palace, which had been destroyed by Tsarist troops, the Duchess took up development of the park. The Romantic Park was a wonderful setting for the building she created. The Temple of Sibyl, commemorating Copernicus, Kohanovsky and Kostrushko, embodied the hope of saving the nation from the grip of the Russian Tsar. The Gothic house became the second museum. There were, among others, masterpieces of European painting, Lady with an Erming by Da Vinci and Landscape with the Good Samaritan by Rembrandt. Currently, exhibits from both park buildings are located in the newly opened museum established within the Czartoryski Palace. Today, Poavi has more than 50,000 residents. Its rich culture and history are its hallmarks. The town also has an impressive range of sports facilities. In recent years, multifunctional centres with modern sports fields, tennis courts, swimming pools and an athletics track have been built. Because of this, Poavi was chosen by UEFA as one of the training centres for the much-anticipated Euro 2012. But if winter sports are your passion, the district of Poavi has a little taste of Zakopane too, with popular local slopes at Rombluff and Parhatka. <laughs> 